Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Animal Crossing. Tis Saturday. Tis a lovely Saturday. And KK is performing some lovely songs. Happy Saturday. I also think that it's fruit day, so... Buckle up. <laughs> what did Nan say? Good day, you're the best! Thank you, I know. What are you up to right now? Something fun. I bet you always have the greatest ideas. So I was thinking of you, and I guess I'm writing to ask if we can plan to do something together soon. Yours truly, Nan. Oh, that's, uh, that's very kind. Yeah, we can hang out if you want. I don't mind. Two Taylor's tickets. Got it. I was like, 3,000 bells? What? It's the Taylor's tickets. Also known as tickets, parentheses, Taylor's version. Hello, Tasha. I'll talk to you in just a moment. I'm digging up some, you know, garden funguses to put in my house. Ooh, I like the whistleoid. Tasha, come back. Tasha! How do you do? Nice, nice. Let's chat. The island breeze is quite lovely today, don't you think? Feels as if it might carry my cares away with it. Yeah, you said that yesterday. As did Claudia. Unless that was the day before. I don't know. Or the day before that. It's all starting to blur together. Having a total blast, muscles. Yeah, I am. Hi, Gardenia. Are you here to hang out with me? That's, uh... <laughs> That's how my uh, my Final Fantasy raid group greets me when I join. Hi, Gardenia. I can, like, I can literally hear that in my raid leader's voice. That's fantastic. <laughs> I just had a split second where I was like, ooh, there's a new Lily of the Valley here. No, I, I put that there. <laughs> I just did that. Gathering peaches until the end of time. So many peaches. Um, I would like to do shells also. And I gotta go like put those things in storage. Blah. I kind of just like didn't even think of that. Ooh, summer shells. Keep the inventory organized, at least a little bit. Hello, Mysterious Stranger! When I first saw the ocean, I just thought, wow, that's big. But then I thought of this recipe. Sure, I could have kept it to myself, but self-praise can only go so far. Go ahead and give it a try. The self-praise. Oh my gosh. It's from Cephalobot, the king of craft. Cephalobot is genuinely one of the... Uh... And we know how to make that already. That's kind of a bummer. <laughs> Cephalobot, brand new to this Animal Crossing game. One of the, the handful. Uh, I only know that because I looked up just who were the newest animals. Like, what were the ones added in this game? Yay, touchdown! I was just thinking about how I wanted to see you. Let's chat, Brocolo. The best tasting island is Garden Isle. Everything tastes great. Everything. Yeah, that's... Never gets any less creepy when you say that. Uh... I, I wanted to look up who the new animals were. I knew uh, one or two of them. I remember when the game first came out, uh, everybody like lost their mind on the internet for the cat. What's his name? Like Raymond or something? Man, I forget what his name is. He's the cat. He's got like heterochromia. People went nuts for him. Pretty sure he's brand new in this game.
I feel bad that I can't remember his name now. I just looked these up like a couple days ago. Let's uh, let's do like a full inventory reset here real quick. Anyway, Cephalobot is one of the other brand new animals that was added. It's uh, he's just like a robotic octopus, and I'm really tempted to like try to get him. kind of want the, uh, like, occult set here. What is this stuff? Fortune-telling set. Like a crystal ball, a crystal pendant, some tarot cards, candles. I like all of those things. I think I have to buy it. Like, I'm not allowed to not buy it. Okay, and is this the ranch set? What is this? Japanese dresser. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll buy that. We can put stuff on it. I'm not opposed to that. A rattan towel basket. Okay. Now I'll pass. I was just curious. It has a little, uh, it has a little sprig of nature in it. <laughs> a piece of plant. I don't know. A branch. I just bumped something. Made my computer make a noise. My other computer, not this one. Which reminded me. I should turn off the speakers. There we go. It is awkward being in the uh, in-between phase and having not fully set up my uh, my new computer yet. Was that like an agris butterfly or a bird wing or something? I saw it. Ooh. More or less, yes. The Great Purple Emperor. Okay. Into the house. Um, one of these days I'm gonna want to like go have Harv Harv no go to Harv's Island and have Cyrus. There we go. Customize a bunch of this furniture. Uh, I'm kind of building up a fair bit. But not gonna worry about that just now. something. I need something more upbeat. No, we're gonna go with Bubblegum KK. It's still my favorite. Uh, I'll just we'll hold on to the Taylor's tickets. I should be using those. I shouldn't just be throwing those into storage. 3k really, like, isn't that much, but... Um, alright. What do you mean there's no space to hang this? There's space right there. There's tons of space. Oh, we do have a tremoloid. Alright, well. This is like the one concession to organizing to organizing things I'm gonna make today. There we go. Also I can words. Oh, they're the same color, too. That's kind of boring. On, like exactly the same rhythm, like on the, or like on the same. They're not doing the exact same thing at the same time. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. They're they're off a little bit, so I'm okay having so many of them. But 
I don't actually want all that many whistle aids all in one room. We'll probably have to move a few around. Eventually, we're going to have, like, one of every gyroid in some room somewhere. Probably the basement. And then I'm going to have several other gyroids just kind of scattered about in the other rooms. But probably not, like, super duper tense. Probably just, like, two or three per room. Something like that. Kind of like what we have in the bedroom right now, right? The bedroom is going to be, like, a lot of the, the softer ones that you could, in theory, like, yeah, maybe fall asleep to. Stuff like that. So we'll have, like, a few in the kitchen, a few in the bedroom. Probably a few in the bathroom. That sort of thing, you know. I'm very glad that this still grew, because I was worried after I dug it up yesterday. Um, I'm maybe okay leaving the, uh, the stump there for now. I didn't check behind the houses. Let's do that real quick. Just gotta find our fossils. Gather fruit for the next hour. <clears throat> so much fruit. Okay, this is ready to be dealt with, kind of. It's gonna maybe be a little annoying today. I might have, like, some difficulty getting at, like, the the wasps and things that are going to fall out of those trees. I think we'll be okay there. I don't know. We'll see how this looks when I'm done with it. It's kind of okay having the five trees like that. Visually. Aesthetically. However... Uh, it's going to be, like, a huge pain in the butt to actually, like, shake those trees and get the, the wasps and stuff out of them, so. Alright, this part. Just infinite peaches. Again, Blue Bear. We are seeing a lot of one another today. You just happen to have moved over here after I talked to you over there. I got a fab hypothetical for you. Imagine, if you will, that you can hear music coming from the house of someone you like. What kind of mu- Is it- is it music coming from someone's house and you like the music? Or is it, I like someone and there's music coming out of their house? I would say rock. I'm talking to Blue Bear, so... It would probably be pop if I really wanted to, like, ingratiate myself with her, but I, I am true to myself, if nothing else. Oh yeah! Every wicked guitar solo's gotta have a tray solid bass line. You two could rock all day for free! Party for nothing and keep believing. Or something. I've listened to a lot of old rock albums and I love them all. I just confuse the lyrics sometimes. See, I am less inclined to go for old rock. I, I like... I like more modern rock. I mostly like metal. I lean much more into the uh, heavy metal type music. If I'm gonna go down like the the rock, the rock genre, the rock path.
Okay, I did not get a good look at our garden area. Wouldn't it be great if we got like a brand new red rose? Wouldn't it be awesome if we got a second red rose and we could just like breed our red roses and work towards getting that blue rose? That's a whole lot of disappointment right there. <laughs> uh. Oh well. I tried. Plenty of inventory space. We have basically no fossils, though. You know what just occurred to me? Oh my gosh, it works. Just a tiny little basket of flowers under that bell. I don't really know how I feel about that, but that's just, that's what we're going to have for now. I like how the hour changes over and we just immediately have fireflies out and about, like that's pretty cool. know if they're worth that much but they're uncommon enough and tarantulas sell for a lot tarantulas also you know try to murder you but i figure spiders are probably worth catching and selling Walking around and singing. It's kind of cool. Why, good evening, ooh la la. Let's chat. I got up bright and early today, ooh la la. After all, you know what to say, the early tiger gets their to-do list done. You are the same as Tasha. You are exactly the same person. I was thinking, I'm not usually the person who likes to solicit feedback or inspire action in the YouTubes. I don't really care about the algorithm. I don't need you to like and subscribe and share with your friends and click the bell icon, give it a thumbs up. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. I don't care. I, I don't like that stuff. I don't like doing it myself. You know, I will, I will comment on a YouTube video if I feel compelled to like actually say something like like if there's something that I feel like I want to contribute that's incredibly rare though <laughs> for the most part I just hate engaging with that stuff um but I am like genuinely curious all right our inventory's full I'm genuinely curious uh 
you know, like I have my own preferences, things that I, I like and enjoy and, and want to see in YouTube videos and uh, stuff like that. But I'm just, I'm, like, I'm curious about other people's YouTubing habits. So, like, specifically around the KK concerts, I'm kind of okay just, like, cutting those out every week and just, like, hey, you know, in the Sunday video, you'll get to see whatever new song I got Saturday night. But, I don't know, if people actually want to hear KK sing, like, eh, I feel kind of bad cutting that out. I don't know. I haven't bothered looking at, like, analytics to see if people tune out at the end. It's just a thing I'm a little curious about. Because I'm, I'm at the point now where, like, we've done this for many weeks in a row, and we're going to probably do this for many more weeks in a row. Pro like, until I get all the music. There's going to come a point where we have most of the music, but not all. And I'm going to be specifically requesting songs just to finish the checklist, you know? So I'm just curious if people think I should... At least for now. We can, we can revisit this later, but, you know... Do you want to keep seeing the, the KK concert stuff, or should I just, like, do it but not necessarily tack it onto the video and put it on camera? It's just kind of weird, right? It's like, it's hard for me to talk over it. I can't, like, do anything else. It's just singing. Uh, it'd be different, like, I'd feel differently about it if we had, like different background scenery or, or, or something like if, if there were if it was like substantially different every time other than just us standing in the black void with KK playing a song but it has become abundantly clear that uh, that is not the case <laughs> it's just it's always the same forever it is kind of fun to hit the roulette though and just see what song we get Gosh darn it. <laughs> uh, another case of button mashing gone wrong. crossed for like some good fashion today because I have those fashion tickets in my inventory. It sure would be great to spend those. Also just getting like an absurd amount of money today which feels pretty good I don't really know what my goal is money wise I know I said like three million ish three or four million something like that I don't know Ugh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just let you sit because I screwed up and missed a tree um, I know I said, like, you know, whatever that was, three three or four million, something like that. But I am thinking, like, the throne was basically a million. If I want to get that crown that we saw at one point early on, that was another million. woo hoo 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 Another great white shark. You shouldn't have. Is that three? Do we have three of those yet? That might be our third one. I know it's the third one that I've caught recently, but one of them was sold to CJ. I would love to have three for turning into a model and then just hoard a bunch of these big expensive fish for the next time CJ shows up. Um... 
So the so three to five million or whatever whatever was that two two to three four, some millions. The thing I haven't really decided yet is we have the sort of known quantity of things I want to spend money on. Do I do I include that in my three million? Is it one million in the bank and two million reserved for? Fun, expensive crown things. Oh, crap. We're missing a fossil, too, and I don't know where it is. I hate when that happens. <laughs> or should I do, like, have three million in the bank comfortably and then pursue an additional, like, two million for, for those royal things? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. That's kind of just a, a thing that's on my mind. Bomber-style jacket. The robot hero tee. I like the thief's costume. The young royal shirts are not bad. Ooh, I like the embroidered floral skirts, actually. Some of those could be okay. Silk floral print pants. They're a bit bright. Some of them are. Those are kind of okay. The LaBelle dress, we should... Oh. And the tickets don't apply to these, of course. Let's get a couple of these. Let's get, like, the pink one and maybe something else. Safety helmet with a lamp. The froggy hat. There's some good things here today. I don't want denim leggings. I don't know. I don't really like the patterns on those patterned leggings. We'll just get one. We'll just get one LaBelle dress. Which I do kind of want to wear around, but we'll stick with our explorer theme for a little bit, too. Full LaBelle outfit at some point in the future. Okay. Good evening to you! Don't you love an evening walk? Kablamo! Let's talk, man. Makes it our best day ever. You say that, like, every day. Night's just getting started. Let's chat. Never too late in the day to have some fun. Applesauce? Yeah. As somebody who is practically nocturnal, I agree with that. Yo, touchdown! You working those legs? Let's talk, Sheldon. Another awesome day for training. You should join me sometime. Eh, I'm, I'm uh, busy on an adventure right now, but yeah, someday. Someday soon. For sure, probably. Ooh, what you making, Canberra? Brown herringbone wall. Okay. Sure. Thank you, Canberra. Okay, all right. Ugh, where, where have I not looked for that fossil? This is the part that I hate. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, well, this is kind of awkward. Never mind, it wasn't that awkward at all. <laughs> okay, we're missing a fossil. Where is the fossil? We're also missing a Roswell.
found the fossil. We're missing Roswell, we're missing Mitzi, right? Change of plans while we're here. Things are getting a bit dicey when I run this way because there's so many extra trees right now. Also, I guess there's just like a ton of money trees and stuff up here too. Like, it's kind of a dense little area right now. That was way closer than it should have been. What were you? I saw a creepy crawly. Oh, it's just one of the uh, like tiger beetles or whatever. You already? I could not. Yo, that's five, and that's both of our furnitures. So everything else is just gonna be money. like incredibly convenient. <laughs> We'll be back to resume this in just a second. Okay, we're gonna finish up this little project. Thunk. Oh, come on, climb the vine, please. <laughs> Oh, a video game. We're gonna finish up this tiny little project here, and then we're going to... Don't, don't pluck it. What are you doing, psychopath? Uh, we'll go, we'll go sell stuff, and then we'll go do gyroid with Captain. Then we'll do the KK concert and call it a night. I think that's pretty much everything. I need a lot more like black flowers around here. But uh, it's, it's a start. 
I don't know what other spooky things are going to go around there, but... Uh, that's I guess that's mostly a Halloween problem. <laughs> that's when I think we're going to get all the spooky stuff. As well, assess the fossils before we go sell things, considering we're almost certainly going to sell four fossils here. Hello, Blathers! I'm shocked. I'm shocked to hear that. There is still a tiny chance there could be a Triceratops torso in here. It's unlikely. But it could happen. We have so many bells. T-Rex torso, that's close. Nope. Climbing wall, I don't really care about. Cream and sugar. Maybe. It's like a... That's a maybe. Maybe for the cafe area. Maybe. Oh. Or sorry, not the cafe, the the coffee shop, the other cafe. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I I think. Um. It's one of those tiny little details that I saw when we were visiting that other island the other day. Which we'll do more of soon, I, I promise. Just not quite there today. But they had some cool, tiny little details packed in amongst just like all the sheer amount of stuff that they had decorating their island. And like one of the things that I noticed was that they had a lot of like uh, cream and sugar. Yeah, exactly that. I wonder if we could, like, customize that at all. But they they had a lot of, like, that type of stuff and, and like, place settings on the tables and stuff like that. It was, it was just a neat little thing, and it's less that I was inspired by that, more like, oh, I just didn't realize that stuff was in the game. Like, of course it is. You can get, like, bottles of water and sushi platters and stuff, but it just, like, hadn't even really occurred to me. So... I'm okay having, like, that sort of high fidelity around the cafe, around the coffee shop, around maybe just, like, a few select places here and there, but... By and large, I like having a lot of nature on my island, you know? I swear, it's the ship of cucumber every day. It's always the ship of cucumber. Captain, we gotta maybe stop doing these, like, when you haven't had dinner. You should maybe eat dinner before I, uh, I bring us on these adventures. Because you seem to be talking about cucumbers and mayo a whole heck of a lot. Another thing that I... I like, another idea I've, I've kind of toyed with a little bit that I think could be interesting. I don't know if I want to do my whole island like that, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how things are, you know, a couple months from now. Um, it would be kind of cool to have, like, like, consolidate all of the houses, all of the buildings, the shop, the museum, like, everything. Get it all kind of stuffed in one area. Have, like, a very, very urban, like, tourism area. 
condense that all down pretty pretty tight pretty like like the with like sidewalks and paths and make it you know very like planned and laid out in a particular way kind of like what we saw previously on that whatever that island was called i've already forgot its name but uh have the other like two-thirds of the island or whatever just be like nature park right taken over with wilderness lots of trees uh several ponds some wild gyroids like I, I think there could maybe be a cool like touristy area versus like nature sort of layout there but also like that would be just so much work i don't know if i want to do that amount of work And I don't really know if the juice would be worth the squeeze on that one. But that's the sort of thing... Oh my gosh, we got another money rock. It's like a couple days in a row. That feels pretty good. Um, It's one of those things where, like, I would love to see somebody else's island and see how other people have done that sort of uh, tropical getaway in the style that I was just talking about. Like, I would definitely want to see somebody else's and be inspired by that. Huh, and I guess that's everything. Alright. That was a nice, quick island. No, like, produce to harvest or anything. I got the message in the bottle, right? I think I did. I did. What are you? To whoever found this, mercy! Last night I couldn't sleep a wink. I just laid there staring at the moon. BAM! This recipe hit me. As they say, sharing is caring. So here you go. Go ahead and give it a try. Sincerely, Hans. Thank you, Hans. A decoy duck. Okay. Alright. Sorry, Captain. In a little bit of a hurry. I have a concert to attend. Earth. You know, another thing we could do... This is gonna mess me up something fierce. This is- this is really gonna screw me up. We'll see. We'll see how often I end up watering trees and trying to chop down flowers. But the idea being that we can bury this and then just swap over and water. So, a very minor efficiency for something that I'm doing every single day, so that'll add up. I remembered. I remembered. I remembered. I remembered this time. KK, I got my glow stick. I'm ready. Uh, am I in a mood? I'm not really in a mood. Yeah, I'll leave it up to you. If we ever get a duplicate from him when I do this, then we're just like gonna swap over to manual entry for all these, because I, I don't want to do duplicates for this. I don't know how his duplicate system works. I don't know if we can get duplicates. I don't know. Sit over here by my bestie, Blueberry. Two days ago? What happened to today? 
Do I have my glow stick out? I'm having a lot of fun with the glow stick. <laughs> Not really a uh, waggle the glow stick type of song, but you know what? I don't care. It's my first glow stick song. I'm very happy. Yay! Clap, clap, clap. We did it. And I have the glow stick. Oh, that's great. Nope. Uh... <sighs> I'm going to do this all over again. Place item. Okay. That's fun. Oh, shoot. I heard it. I heard it. I got to go back. I have to go back. I don't know if it's still out there. It probably despawned with the load, but I heard it. It's probably gone forever, isn't it? It's gone forever. Gosh darn it. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta hunt down those summertime balloons if we're gonna get the full summertime uh, seasonal DIY collection. Okay, so you go in storage. We need to check and see how many sharks we have in storage. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good on anything else. Is there anything else I want to do out there? I don't think so. I think we're done. That's it. Oh, not done. Just kidding. That's not it. Holy moly, we did all five. 
And we have KK Mania! That's our 10th KK concert. That's pretty good. Covert supporter. You know what? We have a couple minutes. That's a lot of Nook Miles. It's exciting when we get all five of our dailies and I didn't even look at them beforehand. And I also remember to turn them in. Take that, game. Uh, nothing else here. You can look at my passport. That's me! That was me. That was me a long, long time ago. That was such a long time ago. <laughs> uh, do I want to be an explorer? I don't really think this is me. We could be jamming. How do I take the photo? There we go. That's all right. That's something for now. Okay, comment. What is my comment? We have none comment. Let's do a title. Deserted Island Island Dweller. Oh, geez. There's so many options here. It could be a Deserted Island Punk. It could be an Easy Breezy Punk. I could be a Legendary Punk. There's a lot of options here. A ludicrously popular. That's not true. <laughs> Messy. Night Owl. Night Owl is pretty close. Overshelled. What if I'm a partially obscured... Meow. I love alliteration. So partially obscured partitioner? Party animal? Partially obscured patron. Partially obscured problem solver. I'm off rail. What if I'm a pond raised problem solver? That could be true. Do we do a tongue twister? I have the meowsiest cat who just showed up here. Seashore seashell seller? Ooh. Seasonal seashell seller. Single occupant sea <laughs> seashell seller. So called seashell seller. I wish I could string together like multiple of these. I think shell grabbing. No. I, I think seashore seashell seller is pretty good. That's pretty awesome. Okay, the obvious option here is Scatterbrain. Savvy Scatterbrain? I mean, a sleepless Scatterbrain is like just what I am IRL. Mm -hmm. That could be a spicy Scatterbrain. We don't have to keep, like, the the alliteration. Could be a savvy scatterbrain. I also like just absolute non-sequiturs for my, uh, for titles and things like this. Let's do a sleepless scatterbrain. That's fine. I should probably do a comment. There you go. You get a comment. All right, look at that. Uh, I'm going to update the photo when I'm wearing clothes that more befits me, a.k.a. a crown. But, like, that's good for now. That's my adventuring outfit. 
Now what did I do? <laughs> it's my first time editing my uh, my uh, passport. Future traveler. Your passport has some information you can edit. Nook Inc. will give Nook Miles to folks who customize their profiles. Take it slow, think about it, make it your own. Eh, that's... I didn't really do a lot of that, but I did make it my own. It's me. Alright, with that, done. So, thanks for watching, everyone. More Animal Crossing tomorrow. Uh, where? Nope, I always mix up the buttons. It'd be so cool if I could get the buttons right on the first try ever. Uh, may the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.